Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Lord Fenton Taste Wasteland 3 walkthrough video. We're gonna go ahead and finish up Wolf's Hunt in Colorado Springs downtown. Yeah, in other words, October 11th will be canceled. And of course, we're going to visit Gideon Rees for the unwelcome guests. Yeah, we'll figure out more about that too. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland 3 videos just like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be updated and more. Now, in the last video, we did the aftermath of our choice. We got some nice things out of it. This one is going to be more relaxing. Now, off screen, I did was I got some upgrades for the Kodiak. Once I finish Unwelcome Guests, and of course I get the Garage Crew, what will happen is those upgrades will be in effect. For now, let's uh, go on ahead towards the town center and talk to this person. Yeah. Who? Oh, hold on. You're the Rangers, right? Talk of the town. Welcome to Colorado. Junko Murayama, sculptor, roboticist, amateur historian, and former curator of the Colorado Springs Museum of History. Can you believe it? I really fixed up that museum. Before me, just a bunch of dirty old trash we had to go look at five times a year in school. I brought the place into the 22nd century, scavenged some old robot parts to rebuild the animatronics, remade all the replicas from scratch, cleaned all the blood off the scar collector weapons. Good stuff. Officially, because of the Dorsey raid. But I think they didn't like the questions I was asking about the Patriarch's history while I was renovating the exhibits. I mean, why else would they tell me they'll be hiring a new curator? What's that got to do with the raid? I don't even know. I sent Diligent Joe, the Patriarch's private secretary, a list of questions about the Dorsey family and the routing of the Plains gangs. Just trying to clear up a few weird discrepancies, you know? Well, he doesn't get back to me, and then the raid happens, and I'm out on my ass with no explanation. That's weird, right? Heck yeah, I am! It was a real sight to behold before they shut it down. Animatronic exhibits portraying our great history, true relics of our struggle to survive, displayed for all to see, authentic handmade replicas of lost treasures. Just some real A-plus quality work, if I do say so myself. The marshals have the front boarded up, but there's a side entrance you might be able to open. It's never guarded, but they keep it locked. You didn't hear that from me. That's rad! Heck yes! Thank you! You won't regret this. You're over at the old airbase, right? I've read all about that place. I'll see you back at your HQ. Now, I got a curator for our museum. Yeah, I missed that from Wasteland, too. That had some great things in it. Let me uh, tell you. Yeah, see, the radio's going off. And there's a door. Yeah, I do not have a lockpicking person. I'm saving that for a certain person. Yeah, look at that person's stats ahead of time. I'm planning ahead. Now, you see this door? It's going to get busted. So, let's see. Come on. Yeah, it takes a little time targeting, but still, you have uh, two choices. Pick locks or break it down. You know which option I'm taking. The good old, let's just break the door down. Now, let's have Sammy do it. She's our best melee person of the team, right? I mean, she just uh, seriously kicks some butt. Come on. Oh, wow, that lucky thing. That's good. Now we're on the hunt, so as soon as the signal gets closer and closer, that means we're on the right track. Yeah, see? Uh, when your radio goes up, it goes like that. When you hear it some more, that's it. Okay, that uh, robot's not there. Yeah, I already made my choice what I'm going to do with the robot. It is related to both of the Wasteland games. I'll explain more about that. Well, in a non-spoiler factor. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, wow. This is some good things I had at the museum. And that's some cans, too. Oh, wow. This is, like, really nice. I mean, let's be, let, let's be honest for a second. That got some nice collection. That's uh, good. And okay, look like unfortunately 
We need to do something about that door. You know what? Jody, go ahead and repair that for me. Yeah, you heard right. And look at that. This is why you have a mechanic. I do need to stock up on turrets. Yeah. You see, during one of my uh, trophy slash achievement guides, the uh, bazaar, you're going to need a few turrets. Yeah, there's tougher enemies, plus they're like magnets. Oh, wow. Look at this. Cash already. That's good. Uh, Casio watch. This is really nice. Yeah, I know. I'm naming off loot. Some more ammunition. Railroad spikes. I don't know what they are, but I'm curious about them. Okay, a tape. I normally let this play through, but what happened was is it got cut off when I was moving around. Yeah, the uh, thing just popped up. You'll uh, see in a few moments. See? There you uh, go. Looks like we're getting closer. We search everywhere except for that one corner I'm going to actually will uh, find. So, so I'm going to do is from the uh, cassette area, I'm going to go ahead, check this uh, area out. Yeah, you want to check this out once I am done. And I'm going to do is mess with the thing. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and interact, and I'm going to definitely make my choice. you do to me? Let me go! No! Don't! Please! My reasoning is, well, Wasteland 1, Las Vegas Sewers, Wasteland 2, yeah, the uh, second part of the game. I'll leave it at that. October 11th has been officially cancelled, so let's go ahead and level up. Now I just leveled up. I got greed some stats. That's uh, good. Let me see. There's nerd stuff. I'll just do that one. That is uh, good. Really good. Yeah, I might as well get that barter up and some other things too. And let's see if I could get that. I don't think I could do that. Ah, nuts. I might have to not sell some of the, uh, what do you call it, scraps. And let's see, Sammy. That's look good right there. I think I'm going to do is start doing her other stuff too. Yeah, that's good. Coordination. I might work on strength and coordination. Just go back and forth. And let me see what else. I think. Let me uh, see. Okay, I'm going to do explosives. And let's see what else. I'll leave it there. Those are uh, good enough. And she don't have anything else. Okay, that's all right. I'm just leveling up my uh, characters, and everybody's fine. Uh, there you go, everyone. So our next stop will be Ranger HQ. You're wondering why is that? Well, Wolf needs the head back. You heard me right. We did the job for Wolf. He's hunting down synths. We're not simps for uh, simps. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's hard to say, but still, we're not that. Besides, it was some good payback. Really good payback. Even though the, what do you call it, AI sounding like he's a child, but, or whatever it is. Oh, well. I took it out. It's dead. I'm going to get my reward. That's most important. Now I'm back. So what I'm going to do is go on ahead. Talk to Wolf to complete the mission. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Oh, no muss, no fuss. How about that? All right, then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how'd you like to pick up a few more bounties? Like I told you, synths communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Great. Now. Let me just crack this egg. Mm. 
You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. Signal's imprecise, bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. Great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Now, that is uh, done of course wolf's hunt he'll give us another mission later on in the game i suppose which is really good so here's the thing this is the garage this is our last upgrade we gotta do but for now i'm just going to check everything over what i'm going to do is go ahead and load onto the kodiak and head straight for colorado springs downtown because we're going to the rich area not to rob it <coughs> Reason B, I'm going to rich section, Gideon Rees. Yeah, we're going to visit Gideon. He does have a part for unwelcome guests, which we're going to do next. Totally laid by Loki. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Thanks to Lucia Wesson. Now we're going to rich people area. We're actually going to go ahead and explore the church. And of course another area. Yeah, because one of my skills popped up and helped out. Now I'm going to go ahead and level up the ghost. Max out awareness. So this way his range damage bonus is really high. His hit chance too. Plus that perception. Then I'm going to probably do is start doing your little bit of coordination, intelligence, or charisma. Probably balance between the three. Maybe some speed too. Now, I think, let me see. I'm trying to figure out which one should I do, which one I want. That's a nice one. Yeah, the intimidation. Everything else is set nicely. Let's see. Okay, the sneaky one, that's all right. That right. I'll just have to be better when I sneak. And let's uh, go ahead and do this one. Yeah, not demoralized. That'll be for another time, though. I might start popping down in the future to decide to go that route. Everything else looks good. And let me see on which character. Nope, they're fine. Now it's time to go to the church. I'm going to take everything that is not locked down and I'm going to get penalized for it for this area. Yeah, I'm going to take anything I could get while not be, being penalized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and talk to some people. And of course, if there's any important dialogue, I'll let that go. So go inside the church. Gideon will be here. But before we actually do that, we're going to talk to someone else first for free fame. Oh, thank God! You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? My husband, my hardy, was an Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I know it's frightful wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you, find him. Save him if you can. No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. I didn't see you there, Lucia. You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. He's a little on the portly side, always well-dressed, but he likes playing cowboy out on the ranch. 
kindest man in the hundred families. That's why I married him. Yes, but we're homebodies, and neither of us is very political. We own bison ranches out east, supply Colorado Springs with half its meat. I know you well. Thank you, Rangers. Now, see, my fame just went up. Yeah, I definitely want that. Everything looks fine. Now, it is definitely time to talk to Gideon because he does have stuff for us to complete in Unwelcome Guests. Ah, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know, and I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them, but we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories, rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating, and that is why I've called you. Oh, of course. And not just in money. I do a lot of business with the local Arapaho Garage, and I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Nice! We could use some decent mechanics. They will be more than decent, I assure you. Now, what do you say? Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye, and good luck. Bless now, next up is the Bazaar. Yeah, that place. We're all definitely going to be going into that place. Yeah, we're definitely going to investigate that. Now, if you play the Heads or Tails side mission, you can skip the two places you're supposed to go and go ahead and straight up do Unwelcome Guests, however you'll fail it. Now, I picked up this book for one reason. Well, besides it's laying there, it's a lore item. You see any lore items, go ahead and uh, pick it up. And let me uh, check the store. It looks like that is locked for now. I might do uh, figure out where that does uh, the power come from. If not, I'll just, uh, you know, leave it there. Still, I'm just going to keep on going in this direction. And I'm just going to explore for a bit. Might as well. Oh, look, wait, that is a Johnny Five. And look like it's a name NPC. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Babysit. Please step back, Rangers. I'm not supposed to let anyone near this servitor drone. It's malfunctioning something fierce, and we think it belonged to the Wessons. That's right. I recognize that drone. It ran little errands for my father and alphabetized his books.
No, I, I mean, no, ma'am. Please don't mind me. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Hey, look at him go. Time to follow that Johnny Five. Yeah, he's going to lead us to loot. Might as well, though. I mean, loot is loot. That is very important. Even though this Johnny Five moves very slowly. Come on. You could do it. It's a uh, Servitor bot, but I call it Johnny Five because it does look like Johnny Five. I think the developers got the idea of making these uh, some of these robots look like uh, iconic robots from the 80s. Which is a very good thing. In other words, I got influenced by 80s pop culture, especially from a movie called Short Circuit. Yeah, this giant fight is moving slowly. However, it will lead us to a spot where we'll dig up treasure. That's the ideal. That's going to be the last thing I'm going to do in this video before ending it. So I'm going to wait until this giant five moves. Yeah, the uh, camera just went like that. That means we're in the right direction. And when it talks, we're going to go ahead and dig up some free loot. Now I'm curious about this loot. Let's see what's uh here. Let me uh dig it up. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, ammunition, junk, and a weapon mod thing. So let me uh go ahead and give a nice recap for uh today's uh video. First of all, we found October 11, and that's been canceled. Wolf's happy. We allow him to stay at the Rangers HQ. Second of all, we got a text from uh, Gideon who uh, asked us to go to the bazaar. Yeah, that place we're going to definitely go to. And we dig up some free loot thanks to a Johnny Five. Now in the next video, I'm going to check out the rest of this area if it's worth anything off screen. If it is, I'll capture it. If not, we're going to go straight towards the bazaar. Well, this is it for my Wasteland 3 Part 13 video. This is Lorfant signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.